This is part five in a short crash course series on photo editing. We're not looking at specific tools. This will apply to almost any editor you're using. Now here we're looking at a photograph. This is Kate Manzamo in Okinawa. If I zoom in to this picture, I'm going to get pixels, lots of squares. Each of those would normally be a dot on your computer screen maybe, depending on the size of the image. So pictures are great because they, they capture the moment, but if you zoom in, it gets either pixelated or in, in, a, in a real film uh, camera, you're going to get fuzzy. Well, there's a difference between a photograph, so we're, we're editing in GIMP here, which is comparable to Photoshop. There's a difference between an image here, raster or pixels, and vector, this is Inkscape, which is comparable to Adobe Illustrator. This is not a photograph, and it's not a big red dot that I drew in GIMP or Photoshop. This is a circle. The computer thinks of this as a mathematical circle, and then it's filled in red. So if I were to click on this to edit it, you can see there's different vector points around it, and there are eight different dots here if you want to count. And each of these is, is a line. It's a geometric line, and I can change it, I suppose. And, and now it looks more like trigonometry or calculus and reminds you of high school math. These lines in math vectors are how the computer understands this. So because there's only eight points on this red dot, the computer doesn't have to remember a whole bunch of little pixel dots. It just has to remember those eight points and a few things about them so the file is much smaller. And another thing is I could zoom in, right, zoom in, and the line doesn't get fuzzy or pixelated. I can zoom in infinitely and zoom out also and, and it won't change. That, that's a funny looking design I just made there on accident. Same thing here with, with the triangle in the middle. I can zoom way in and the quality stays the same because this only has six little dots. In fact, I could arguably even delete them or I could move them around. This is vector art. It's using mathematical lines in order to draw the picture. It's small and it's scalable. You can make it big and small. This image is vector, or is, excuse me, raster or pixels and it's great for photographs and it's exact, but you zoom in and it gets fuzzy. That's the difference between pixel raster and vector artwork. We're going to continue and use this more in the next video.